Okay, all set up. Made it to outside of Boston. So, kind of an uneventful travel day for a couple hours. People said she had to talk to me, so we'll do that. I thought we had to get here earlier. We need to drop, set up, and run because I have something scheduled, tickets bought, and planned for today. And it's gonna be a little bit of a drive, but we had to get into a safer part of town, but we need to set up in kind of a toot and get in the car. Uh, I don't like that. <laughs> I, know. I don't like that at all. Do you wanna know where you're going? No, I don't care where I'm going, because okay. it won't matter. No, because you're going. <laughs> Welcome to... Switch it up. Switch it up. <laughs> this is, this is going to be interesting because we're starting out this journey and I don't, I, I think we're in Massachusetts. We are. Okay. And Sheila had a surprise and... Todd's confused. I'm, <laughs> you're seeing, I'm really confused. We had a drive day. We dropped the rig off. We took off. Now we're here. No idea what's happening. I saw a person with pointy ears and There's just was like... There's a lot of like, people, a lot of people. So, we are going over there because Sheila has something planned. Yes. So my question for you is what do you think... It's Halloween and so what do you think of with Halloween? What are the things you think about for Halloween? Demons. Wow, you went all the way to demons? Well, that's... Well, think about... I think about little kids dressed up for candy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that too. laughs> Demons. <laughs> wow. Okay. What is what other like what do you see decorations of for Halloween? Like what do people what do people decorate with? I don't know. The, I feel like I'm like I don't know. Ghosts? Ghosts and goblins and, and yes. witches? Yes. We just happen to be in Salem and we're gonna do a <laughs> witch hunt. <laughs> We better just roll the intro because I have a bad feeling about this one. I can't wait. Really, I can't. I think even, I think that person that is our guide, they claim to be an official witch. Modern day witch. <laughs> we, just, we just need to roll the intro. I don't know where this is going. What did you do? It's Halloween. Okay. And so on Halloween, you think about witches. And I thought, what better? I don't know much about okay. the Salem witch trials. Do okay. You? No, but we're rolling the intro now. <laughs> that was a very already, long intro. I thought you already rolled it. <laughs> I was just talking to you about what you're getting ready to do. Yep. A man and a woman left their home to switch things up and go on the road. They didn't know where they would go. But it's got to be better. I don't think in my lifetime I ever would think that I would be here. In Salem? In Salem. Yeah, and I don't, the I don't know the I don't know the true history. You get all of the stuff that you normally hear about the witch trials and all that. But if you think about it, people were falsely accused of things, alienated. This is my belief. I don't have any idea. Now no, we've they've we'll turned it into more. Some, they've turned it into something more, but we'll see. It should be interesting. But there are some um, unique individuals here. Well, and the thing is, is that this town was founded in 1626, I think. So how can there not be some unique cool, uh, history. buildings and history here? Yes, this is true. Film nights. <laughs> hey, there's a bee witch statue. Did you ever watch that show? I don't. I don't know if I want candles that are shaped in skulls. Ooh, look at this car, squirrel. Yeah. I don't necessarily need my palm red, nor candles. 
or apparently this is the place you come. There's the Salem Witch Museum over there. Sounds like a good blues. Oh yeah, handmade candles, gold totems. Let's do a tour, shall we? My favorite part I just noticed, my favorite part of this whole thing, is look at the shirt Sheila's wearing. <laughs> Let's talk about being the light in darkness. Oh my gosh, Sheila, you're hilarious. You didn't even think about it, did you? Oh, she prepared to, to cover her soul. <laughs> Something like that. I mean, those were like mansions back in the day. This one house, three, four. The kids liked it. They, well, I guess there was a lot of things about Hocus Pocus that were filmed in this town. Our girls liked that. I've always wondered if you went to a psychic and you sat down and they say, I knew you were coming. I don't get it. I'm sorry, I don't. I wonder if I asked him for like angel wings face painting if they could do that. Wouldn't that be fun? You go to all these places like, yeah, can I get angel wings? <laughs> you do a little cross tattoo on my face. <laughs> oh my goodness. It is definitely a very unique environment. Great people watching for sure. Where the fog is over there, that used to be the waterfront. And this area where the cemetery is was indeed surrounded by a shipping yard. Okay. So in the daytime, you can take tours of the 1637 burial ground. At night, it is illegal to do so, but I do recommend coming back in the daytime if you can. We're on a tour. And apparently tours. There's lots of tourists doing tours. Just on this street alone I bet there's 150 people in different pods. The cemetery. I can't hear what it's Yeah, we can't hear anything. And it's only surpassed by the King's Chapel Cemetery on Tremont Street in Boston. Some of the people who were involved intimately with the witch trials are buried here. Including I can't hear anything, so I'm going to do my own ghost. I brought my ghost hunting device. It's called an EMP. I nicknamed it a long time ago. So I'm going to turn this on. It, it, it's electric magnetic pulse stuff. Since we're by a cemetery, and it's the second oldest cemetery in the country. That's pretty amazing to think about. It was in the 1600s, so I'm giving you real history, but since there's four guides talking at the same time, I'm going to turn this on. If it goes off and starts beeping, that means there's like a magnetic field 
and that would be there's since there's nothing out here um, it would be really freaky honestly it usually reads 0.22 oh here's another tour and they're just talking through so let's do our own test ready turning it on it's not around anything the camera is away from it about a foot and a half it reads um, Yeah, that's, uh, I don't even know what to say right now. If you've watched, uh, you don't know. Um, this normally never, never goes off. Let me check the settings away from the group. There's nothing here to make it go off. Holy crap. I don't know what's... <laughs> Anytime I get to the fence, it goes off. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, every time I went to the fence, it went off. Like, every time. Now, we're away from the cemetery. Turning it on. This was one of the early cemeteries. I'm telling you, the whole town is haunted. Now it's zero. Look, zero, zero, zero. Our, our tour is clear up here. This used to be an old cemetery and they bulldozed it under. It was for poor people. See, now it's not working. Excuse me. And it's on. Are you guys part of the tour? Yes. This is a Requiem tour? No, this is a Haunted Footsteps tour. There's three. Haunted Footsteps. What in the world? What is around here? The whole town is haunted, I'm trying to tell you. Sheila, this is the weirdest thing. We've had this thing in all these houses that... Okay, I'm going to turn it off. Can you turn the volume off? No, you can't turn it. That's why it beeps. We have had this thing in the most haunted places. Oh, i got to catch up. Um, oh, for sure. Yeah, apparently. Temperature keeps going up though. Zero point zero 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 point two two. Okay. Teams, if we're gonna we're gonna stay here. I would love to take you inside, out of respect for the spirits of the departed. It's point zero zero. Alas, we come to the end of October, which means we have Halloween around the corner. So today, Allison and I are going to go on a little adventure. Mm -hmm. We are going where? We're going ghost hunting. <laughs> In Atchison, Kansas. Oh. So we bought our first ghost hunting tool. I'm really excited. <laughs> it just came in. It is an EMF detector. It's an electric magnetic field detector. Because that's what I felt I wasn't going to come in here, and I can definitely tell it's off. Interesting. Yeah, how'd you like to rent this? Yeah, I'll stick it Let's go upstairs and do. It looks creepy, but I don't feel creepy. You feel creepy? I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. See, this is the reason we get out and do things like this, is that you never know. Ghosts or no ghosts, but this is just cool. That is so weird. Go back. Go back and try it. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing. It's nothing. 
So <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> like this guy's all about me. And voila, we're right here. It's daylight. This we, daylight. We ran out after doing the tour. It got dark. I couldn't shoot anything. And so then I was like, I had all these thoughts running around my head. And I'm eating a piece of candy, which you should never do. Which the candy is technically for the trick-or-treaters that will be coming by. But they're treats. They're <laughs> Todd's treats. I love that the several parks are doing trick-or-treating, which is what I thought of when we talked about Halloween was the cute kids and their costumes yeah. just coming by. So let's, this, since it's Halloween, there are so many things that run in my head. And I, I, we were, I, she was laughing because I was playing back some of the video footage and I said demons right away. And she's like, what about our grandkids? And they're all like all dressed up and they're cute and they're this and they're that. And yeah, yeah I, I, I just totally did not think of it. I was thinking we're, we're in this weird place. There's weird things going on around. It was okay, I odd. will, I mean, okay, I'll give you that because there is definitely two sides to Halloween. Like there's, you know, this fun and cute, the kids are having school parties. In fact, our daughter texted me this morning a picture of- Her being a uh, grape? No, well, our grandchildren, our daughter oh, yeah, yeah. that has a grandchildren texted me a picture. We have a little police officer and a little, little witch and she's just the cutest little thing. And I, one of the things I love about Halloween is because it is that time of year when people come out and they actually knock on your door and you get to have a conversation and mm -hmm. So I love that, but I will give you the benefit of knowing that there is a very dark side to the, the holiday as well. And so you couple that with going to Salem. Now this was, Salem's like a bucket list trip for a lot of people to go and visit. I had never thought about going to just talk to witches. There's a lot of people there, especially through the month of October. That are deep into the occult. Uh huh. Like way deep, like super deep. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Yeah. So it was an interesting thing because let's talk, let's still go back. So like we were walking down the street and now as you're trying to process everything that's happening, that you're in Salem, it's a place that you've always heard about. It's a place that you might've read at when you were in school. Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. Right. There. So, and then you process the video that we did with voices in my head. Okay. So you had this is a filter that I have that I can't get rid of now, and so that's a processing filter that I think through um, differently. Now we have been let's let's clarify this. We have been to a lot of haunted places. Yes. We did it. We you know as kind of like I don't know it was something for us to do a vacation within a vacation, and it would be oh this is supposed to be one of the haunted. So we went to the Queen Mary once. Okay, I will admit that and Queen Mary really freaked me yes, out. Yes, I have a short 10 second video of her running down the hallway trying to get to the room because it was a freaky, freaky place. They yeah. said at night, we can wander these halls and we'll see like <laughs> mists <laughs> and hear vacuum cleaners and weird stuff. Yes, that one really did freak me out. And then what was that hotel we stayed at in Tennessee? That was a freaky That experience. was a freaky. So we have had many freaky experiences. Mm -hmm. But because of, of how, I guess between, because of my faith and what I believe, yes. I do not believe that I can be harmed or hurt. Mm -hmm. And so it's just like this, I don't know, it's just freaky at times, but I, it doesn't cause fear in me. Correct. I don't necessarily have that fear like when you're a high schooler and you're going to scary movies and you're trying to... I don't necessarily have that fear. I have this thing of the demon scenario played out where you have the voices pop up and then those voices, where do they come from? Or how did how do people acquire those things, right? Yeah. And so a lot of times in the Halloween time when uh, the Ouija board was a big deal and you could open those portals up and you could talk to whoever was there and it was mysterious and you're moving it, I'm not moving it type scenario. It is, I look at a filter of um, how do those voices, how do those demons, we, we were in going to eat and they had a psychic fair and you paid money and they had a whole laundry list of different things that you could do. And I was watching, I think what, what kind of shocked me was parents 
taking their 12 year old to get their palm read or to have tarot card readings or to do this uh, dark occult thing and I don't that think was... that they realize so I think that there's something kind of like there could be something mm -hmm. it's it's fun it's interesting it's just entertainment but it's not mm -hmm. that it is really there is a spiritual realm in around us of things that we can't see and that is just the beat that's just like the tip of the iceberg so it gives a it gives a possibility because firm belief on my end is that ghosts are basically not good they're not the good ghost it's not casper it is not casper <laughs> it's a deceiving spirit that was stuck here from a long time ago from when the angels were cast down so they're here and they got nothing better to do than to attach yourself and make a nice little friend and we always yeah. joke that your little demons that you carry around can talk to the little demons over here oh yeah it's like that there's a good demon and a bad right. demon in cartoon characters you mean good angel bad angel. oh yeah good angel and a demon mm -hmm. yeah we always joke about that well then where do those voices come from right so now all of a sudden you've got the little voice Focusing, I just don't. I just don't think that it's a good thing, and it, nobody teaches you how to get rid of those little voices and how they get around. So that's kind of no, that. But, to me, that's like the start of it. You start like when you're young and you're yeah. innocent, and you open up this opportunity. So there's, a, I, I think of Halloween as having a lot of purity and a lot of fun. I don't like purity. Well, purity, like the kids, the kids, the innocence just, of the they're kids. Just they're just in that. They're wanting they're, to dress up. They're and wanting have to dress fun. up and get free candy. Mm -hmm. I mean, that sounds like fun to me. Dressing up, have free candy. Right, and then there's the other side where you're looking at it as the opportunity to communicate with the dead and leaving pennies on graves and the 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 witchcraft people. They're not necessarily wanting to do horrible things. They're interested into the darkness of that. I, that's the from our guide that's the perception she's a very nice person yeah, I mean, like even take like a haunted house like that's yes. that's just like you're just there to get scared for some reason people really like to be scared yeah and some and people will go through some a haunted people house. don't like crabs and they get scared over crabs it's not a haunted crab Okay, well, if the crab had a clown face on and started chasing you down a hall <laughs> with a little it, knife in its <laughs> little clay, it a little different. That would be a horrible but dream. But it was this big, but that's a whole nother video. <laughs> or multiple. <laughs> or I'm just saying that, that, like, a haunted house, that's like this fun, like, just to be scared. I don't like those. I don't watch scary movies, and I don't like, I just don't, I just don't like that. But I don't mind, um, you know, learning, exploring hearing other people's side of things because I think that it opens up conversations. You went way dark in the beginning of that. I did. And I was like, I it's just because wanted I, to give out I, candy. I, <laughs> we were in Salem. Like yeah. you hear all of these things and I didn't know a lot about the witch trials and how that, you know, there's two sides to every story and yeah. every even history has been is been taught from two different is only been taught from one way a lot of the time. There's a lot we can learn. Um, right, even in their, their, they, they, that witch trial, I did not realize how short of a time it was. Yeah. And they really feel like they were persecuted um, and stuff. So to hear their side of the story, it was an interesting take. I thought it went on for years, but it was literally only a few months that that scenario played out. And here's a question I have. The question I have is if if this was happening and these people went crazy and they started persecuting people and trying to say you're a witch and doing that, what was happening prior to that? What what things were going on prior to push these religious zealot people is what a lot of them say that wanted to cast out the demons and get rid of the witches? Was some weird stuff really happening? Like that caused them to fear and say, oh my goodness, these people here, they're witches. There had to be something, or it could have been political. You don't know what it could have been, but what led to that point where it was a tipping point? There's so much history. <laughs> there's so much in my mind going to Salem. And there's there's always more questions. Everywhere we go, we we get we get something answered, and we learn something new, and then you leave with another question. I mean, it's we never stop. So should you go to Salem on Halloween? The whole month of Halloween, a whole month of actually, it starts a little before that, about mid September, to the tipping point of the 31st i would like to go back to salem and see the history and that town but not in october mm. 
It's just we did not tour the the witches museum or whatever the whole. No, thing. because the line was like ridiculously oh, long. Crazy. I just think that that probably had to do something with with the <laughs> that being October, mm -hmm. but. Yeah, it was definitely crazy. Um, definitely a unique experience. And that's, I think, part of the RV life in itself is is that being able to have those experiences and not just, you know, say, hey, you know, what was that like, or do you, and not go experience for yourself. I I think this gives that opportunity. It was very weird though that you surprised me with that. That was a very odd. Well, it's part of. It's part. We were we're also on of just learning about American history, mm -hmm. and that is part. It is part. It's part of our history. We need to remember to learn all of our history, the bad parts and the good parts and, and the yuck, ugly parts of things because that's how we learn. And I... And hearing the history from a witch? Okay. Yeah, what concerned me just a little <laughs> bit was her last thought was... Oh, oh yes. Her last thought we was... We can end the video on this. Yeah. Okay. I was like, whoop. Well, I'd like to end a video on a high note, but okay, if you want to end yeah, Halloween on a dark note. But her thought was, you know, they they were getting rid of those witches and trying to get them out of the town, but now the whole witch culture and the number of witches and the, the tourism that the witch community has brought into Salem, she said, basically, we, we own the town. And so what- The witches won! The witches won. In the end! They're winners, and obviously by the amount of tourism and the oh, amount yeah. of tours, the money that's coming in for you witches, will be, you will be flabbergasted on how many, how crowded. I mean, there was times there was probably 150 people easy on a one little section, yeah, and different tours talking, all the guides talking. So the witches won in that town. Yeah, so it's theirs. <laughs> it's their little darkness, their little darkness place of enjoyment, and I can say that because they all wear black. And that's a very <laughs> that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we hope that tonight you get to enjoy Yes. Family. People knocking on your door. And it's an opportunity for us to just be, be the, the light. light. Yeah. And turn and be the light and open the door and say hello and um, meet some people. Yep. So thanks for tuning in. Definitely a little bit different video than we normally shoot. So if you're new to our channel, check out on some of our travel stuff and some of our RV tips and tricks and stuff. But this was, it kind of ended abruptly because it got too dark and we couldn't do anything. So we thought we'd at least share our thoughts. Yeah, share our, so, our en thoughts on Salem. Enjoy Salem. Go visit. You should go there. I think it's just part of our American life. It's part of our history. So all that being said, like, comment, do all the things, subscribe. And we look forward to seeing you soon in our next video. Yes, see you on the next one. We're out.